Today, we're going to show you how to use the mesh tool in Illustrator. The mesh tool adds a mesh over a closed shape, which creates a mesh of intersecting points onto which different color swatches can be applied. It's a super powerful tool that can make your vector illustrations look more 3D or photorealistic. And it's a bit tricky, but if you start with the basics, you can just build your skills on top of that. The mesh tool makes designs more versatile because your vector images can be viewed at any size without losing resolution. So for this tutorial, I took a bunch of a picture of, of a bunch of grapes and I recreated this photo with vectors using the mesh tool. Um, but for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create just one grape to start with. So here I have opened my photo in Adobe Illustrator and we're going to double click on our image layer in the layers palette and this window called layers options pops up. Now that then you check template, dim your image to 100, hit OK. And what that just did was make this image into a template onto which we're going to make a mesh shape on top of it. So as we go along, it's really helpful to use the navigator tool to see your progress um, because we're going to create a new layer on top of that and we're going to be viewing this new layer in outline mode, which you do by going to view outline. And now we're going to create a vector image of grape. So I've clicked on my circle tool and I'm going to try to get it as close as possible to the shape of the grape. Now that we have a pretty accurate outline, we're going to click on the mesh tool in the sidebar. And now we're going to click on the center point of our shape. And you can see that it's created our first mesh point. So I'm just going to correct this a little. So we're going to click on different lines of this mesh to add more mesh points where the grape is changing in color or value. So I'm going to add one here, and here, here. For the mesh tool, it's better to work with as few mesh lines as possible in general. So I just added just a couple more, not too many. And now the next step is to click on your eyedropper tool in this panel to apply some colors to your mesh points. There's a couple ways to do this, but I'm going to use the eyedropper tool. So I clicked on the eyedropper tool and go to the first point, one of the first points on your mesh, hold down Command or Control, see how the icon changed, and click that point and release Command or Control and now your eyedropper tool will pop up again and click and you see how in the navigator palette a little swatch has been applied to that point. 
So that means we're going to do the same thing for all these mesh points on our grate. Now that all your mesh points are filled in with a color swatch, you can see that you have a nice scrape in your navigator tool. So to view it, we're going to go to view, preview, and now you can see your grape. 